On this week's episode, we're going to take a deep dive inside Microsoft Azure AD Access Reviews. What are they? How do they work? And most importantly, what can they do for you? Stay tuned. Hello everyone, how are you? Andy Malone, Microsoft MVP. Uh, on this week's episode, I had a request actually, and I thought, you know, that's a great suggestion for a video. Somebody wanted to ask about access reviews in Azure Active Directory, and specifically how they work with not just applications, uh, but also things like group membership and even Azure AD roles. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then shame on you. Uh, bump that subscribe button up there, ring that bell, and come and join uh, my learning community that I'm very much trying to build out. Now, we've just 65,000 subscribers and I am so grateful for each and every one of you who are subscribed and I really do appreciate it and if you've got questions about this in fact any of my videos then of course just get those questions uh, down below and if you enjoy the video please bump the like button it really does make a difference uh, to my channel so I think without any further ado let's jump in and have a look at access reviews and exactly how they work and what they can do for you. So I'm going to kick off here in the Microsoft Entra Admin Center, and I'm going to come down into Azure Active Directory. And first of all, I'm just going to pop into Overview and just mention that my license here uh, for the demo is an Azure AD Premium P2 license. The idea of an access review is obviously if you have employees and you want to give them access to certain resources or applications, um, the worst scenario is that in two years goes by and you suddenly think, oh my goodness, they've still got access to that resource, which is the way, in fact, that many businesses operated during the 90s and the noughties. Um, nowadays, though, we have this tool and it's absolutely awesome. Now, you can do an access review from within groups. So if I come into groups, you can see that we have an access review option here. And indeed, when we go ahead to create the access review, you can see that teams and groups is already selected. And of course, teams and groups are related to each other. Now, in addition to that, of course, I can also scroll down. I can come into applications. And if I go into enterprise applications, sure enough, um, I can scroll down here and you can see that access reviews are here as well. And again, if I go into here, it'll be pre-selected for access reviews. Now, you can find the entire tool set, by the way, if you come into Azure AD, come into Identity Governance, and we have Access Reviews here. So an access review is an easy tool that you can use to keep track of who has access to certain resources, such as applications or group or team memberships. Um, you can come in and create a new access review here. And because I've come into identity governance, you can see it's now giving me the choice. So do I want to do a teams and groups review or do I want to do an application review? I'll do both in this example. So I'm going to kick off first with teams and groups. So do you want to monitor all Microsoft teams and groups with guest users or just selected teams and groups. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna go in, I'm going to select, and I'm gonna scroll down here, and you can see that we have a number of groups and teams here. So I want to review, uh, monitor the Oslo security team here. So I'm gonna add those into my access review. And do I want to monitor guest access or all users? So again, you have that choice. You can also monitor if there's any inactive users at the tenant level. So if they're not in uh, administrative units, for example. I'm going to choose all users and I'm going to click on next. So in here, you now have the option, do you wish to create a multi-stage review? So this uh, multi-stage review, you might do one every you know, few months or it might need a number of different reviewers. So for example, you can uh, do a review with group owners. So the owners of groups, you can have selected users of groups 
You can even have users review their own access or, of course, you can have managers. Now, because I've chosen a multi-stage review, you can select the reviewers here. And again, I can add in additional stages. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it at one level. And in here, I'm going to say that group owners can manage groups. Of course, you can also add a fallback reviewer. So an administrator or let's say somebody in HR or something like that. So in this case, I'm going to assign the Microsoft CDX. Which just This is an admin demo account that I have. So specify the reoccurrence of the review. So six every six days or the review or the duration rather, it lasts six days. Uh, we have the review reoccurrence. So I could say, yeah, let's do the review quarterly. And you can see that you get a date. When do you want to start from? So I'm going to put in obviously today's date. You can also end it on a specific date or after a certain number of occurrences. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to say I never want to end it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click next. So do you want to auto apply the results to the resource? I think I will. And if reviewers don't respond, what do you want me to do? Remove access, approve access or take recommendations. I'm going to choose this option and I'll come back in a moment. You can also, at the end of the review, you can send a notification if you want to as well. Um, this option is uh, enable decision helpers. So, uh, for example, and this is a good one, if somebody hasn't signed in for 30 days, then the chances are the last thing that you want is giving somebody access to review and they're not actually using it. So that's a good thing. Also, we've got something called user to group affiliation. So again, is the user a member of the group and or is it affiliated to a different group? Is a justification required? So a justification for the review. Do you want to do email notifications and reminders? And again, you can add in additional content for the reviewer email. So a little message if you wanted to. Clicking next, I'm going to say, are you ready to review and create? So I'm going to call this my Oslo. Uh, IT support group. Um, once I've confirmed everything, it looks good. I'm now going to go off and create that review. So that review takes place and you can see that it's now set up. So that being the access review for a group or a team, you might also want to do one for an application. So I'm going to come into enterprise applications uh, in Azure Active Directory and I'm going to scroll down. And again, you can see that you also have something called access reviews here as well. And it's exactly the same uh, screen. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a new access review. And you can see that this is already filled in for me. And all I do now is actually go ahead and select the application or applications. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select Zoom. I'm going to click on Next. And again, you can monitor the application based on guest user access or all users within your organization. So for example, do you want, you want to review the access of guest users or again, internal staff? So I'm going to choose for the demo here. I'm going to choose all users. Click on the review. And again, is it a single stage or multi-stage review? Um, I'm going to select the reviewer. So is it selected users and groups? Users can review their own access or managers of users. And just to remind you that selected users or groups, um, what happens, Andy, if there isn't a group or an owner for a group? Hey, that's a really good question, actually. And if I go into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, so in the organization settings, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find Microsoft 365 groups here. And here in the Microsoft 365 groups, if you've not noticed this recently, then we have a number of additional options here. So we have a feature here called 
ownerless groups. Uh, and it says when there's no email uh, and there's no active group members, you can invite other members within the group to take responsibility for that group and come, become an owner. And to do this, we basically configure this policy. So first up then, you can specify who will receive those ownership notifications. Are you going to let all active members, only certain members which you can specify, or block only certain members? So again, you have an allow or a block list here. You can specify the number of members and you can notify the most active uh, members within the group for every, you know every two weeks. So again, I'm just going to accept that. Click on next, and you can see that's the who's the email coming from, and you can see this is what the email looks like. So hi uh, dollar, this is an admin field. So this will be replaced by uh, hire Wanda or hire Jim, um, and it says you're receiving this email basically because you've been uh, allocated or you, you're a member of a group. Would you like to take ownership? And again, the user can then choose whether they want to take ownership, yes or no. So again, you can customize this little message. Uh, and again, you can put a kind of a policy guideline URL. Are you going to set this for all users or just specific users? Again, I'm going to uh, use that. So that's really useful, especially if you've got ownerless groups. And that really comes into its own here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select the reviewers, um, selected users or groups. Users can review their own or the managers of users. So again, I'm going to say selected users or groups. And again, I can select some reviewers here. So again, I'll select my old friend CDX. And I can also add in additional ones later if I want to. Um, again, duration in days. So how many days do you have to complete the review? Uh, so within six days, if I don't do it within six days, it will then say, hey, uh, it, it says, OK, you didn't do the review, basically. Again, I can set the reoccurrence. So again, I'm just going to do this monthly. You can set a start date and the rest is pretty much the same as the other review. Uh, again, in here, again, I can choose auto reply to the resource. But this time, for security reasons, I'm going to say for improved security, I want to remove access to that resource. And again, you can notify certain users as well. Again, you have some decision helpers here, which include the no sign in. And again, you've got some advanced options there that you can use. Again, I can give the uh, review a title. So I'm just going to call this my Zoom. Uh, access review. And now that I'm ready, I'm just going to click on create. And that's my access review created. OK, so super simple, really, really easy to manage. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to scroll back down and I'm going to come into access reviews back in identity governance. Now, in this case, you can see that I have a number of reviews that I've gone through previously. And you can go in and you can have a look at some of these simply by going in and saying, hey, okay, let's have a look at this project review. Now, it's possible that this could be um, uh, this could actually be a completed solution in the past. But again, you can go in, you can add in additional reviewers. You can change those settings as before. And you've also got the review history and the logs there. So uh, super useful, really, really easy to do. Now, if I just come back into. Now, if I come back into access reviews, there are uh, just a few other things I just want to mention here. Um, you can automate this process as well. So, for example, if you're using, let's say, a Microsoft Flow or a Power Automate, then you can add in an automation here. And you can see here's one that we made earlier. So this shows me that the access review and also it's creating this nice chart so I can see exactly where we're up to. And you can see, I can see those recent access reviews. I can see if they're active or indeed if they're completed as well. 
Again, you can do the same thing here. And again, you can see those access reviews there as well. So that's that. Now, as I mentioned, uh, you can go into the settings. Really important. So this is currently in preview. Um, so preview group owners can create and manage access reviews. So up until recently, it was this was an admin function. So if you want owners to be able to actually go into Azure AD and create access reviews, this is where you can do it. Now, a common question that I get asked is, you know, Andy, this, why don't they do this in Microsoft 365? Um, it seems to be a, a logical place to do this um, in Microsoft 365. And you know what? I kind of completely agree with it. I, I do feel that this is a natural home for access reviews. And who knows? Maybe in the future it will be. Wink, wink. So finally, you can also do a review history as well. And again, as with any review history, you can pull off a report, you can give the report a name, you can choose a to and a from date, and again, you can select the report type. So are you reviewing applications, groups, things like Azure resource roles? So if you're using uh, Azure, uh, not just for Azure Active Directory, but things like virtual machines and things like that, you can also use this uh, as well. And again, there's a number of filters. So you can produce a report for users that have been denied, let's say for compliance reasons. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, access reviews. So there you have it, Access Reviews, uh, which comes part of Azure Active Directory. Uh, and it's absolutely critical that you uh, know how they work and that you can set them up correctly. Now, uh, just to remind you that this is a premium feature. So again, you may find it's not available in all those SKUs, but I hope that you found this of value. Now, questions, comments, uh, as always, just get those down below. And if you enjoy the video, please bump that like button. It does make a difference. And of course, if you've not subscribed, well, hey, come on on board with us. Come and join my learning community by clicking that uh, subscribe button up there, ringing that bell, and you'll be notified of any new videos and postings. All right, that's it for this time. You stay safe. I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.